Surprise, surprise, both leakers are back for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and we've got a ton of information to break down today. Let's take a look. The Riddler coup, the Chinese Riddler, as well as Kaka, our infamous leaker, with the actual screenshots, are back and putting out information for Scarlet and Violet. And we've got that right here, so let's talk about it. Central Leaks reporting on the fact that Pseudo Wudo, Teddy Ursa, and Ditto are in the game. So despite the fact that we're believing there to be a different breeding mechanic, Ditto does seemingly make it into the game. Absol, however, does not make it into the game. There's clarification on three new dog Pokemon lines, which was actually riddled and rumored previously, one of which is Fido, the fairy type, and there's also a dark and ghost type dog Pokemon line. And it's pretty crazy when you think about it because there's a lot of dog Pokemon lines that have existed in Pokemon over the years, right? I mean, from Snubble to like Houndoom to Stoutland, I mean, there's a lot of them, right? Lucario is even kind of like a dog Anubis type of deal. So it's not uncommon for them to have more than one dog type Pokemon. And in this case, we're gonna have three. And then here's one of the big ones. The pseudo legendary is apparently Dragon and Ice. And when you look at the history of pseudo legendaries, generally speaking, they are indeed Dragon typing with the exception being Metagross. I don't know if there's any other exceptions off the top of my head, but generally they're Dragon. So Dragon Ice, pretty dope. We've obviously had that typing before with Kiram, but I personally really like it. I'm hopeful. I hope it's really dope. I hope it has wings and it's just really epic. It's a cool typing and it's incredibly offensive. So I would love to see a dope Dragon and Ice. I really like Duraludon from uh, Sword and Shield personally. So I'm hoping that it lives up to that. I know Duraludon's kind of not everyone's favorite, but I think it's really cool. They also go on to say there's a new electric and bird Pokemon or electric bird Pokemon. There's a new spider Pokemon, which we knew about that is pure bug. Apparently pure bug. We'll have to wait and see. There's no skirts for trainers and the lady that wears black uses a Metacham. So that's probably referring to the trailer. One of the ladies in the back, which we are speculating maybe as a gym leader, elite four member, whatever it may be. Apparently they have a Metacham on their team. I think the big takeaways here, there's electric bird Pokemon potentially electric and flying, which we've had before with Zapdos or Okorio. And then of course the spider Pokemon, which has been teased since trailer one, potentially being pure bug. I don't know if this is a mistranslation. It was, uh, it's in parentheses, pure question mark bug. So we'll have to wait and see. Then the Riddler goes on to say sushi. Yes, he tweets the word sushi, which has everybody up in a frenzy, then tweets the word Oyakata, Oyakata. I don't know what that means. But luckily we have Poke Sutami, our awesome translator in the community, says Oyakata can have various different meanings. As mentioned by others, it can be connected to sumo, being the term used for a sumo stable master. However, it can also mean chief, master, supervisor, and artisan. Considering that apart from being Japanese, there's no real connection between sushi and sumo, and I can't really see them incorporating sushi into Hariyama's reported paradox form, which by the way, Hariyama is apparently gonna get a paradox form. I think it's more likely that Q is referring to a sushi master or sushi artisan. The next, uh, the text in the picture attached to the first tweet is confirming that the sushi master is called Oyakata, especially in the Kanto area. So there's some thoughts right now that there's going to be some sort of a sushi Pokemon. And then apparently from Kaka, we get more information. Amy at Japan, another one of our people who have been reporting on what uh, Kaka has been saying, says sushi Pokemon looks like a fish, but it is a dragon type so all the sushi lovers out there i know my wife's a big sushi fan she's been you know we just had a kid a month ago so she hasn't had sushi i gotta get her some sushi she's a big i don't personally like sushi but if you like sushi hit that like button down below make sure you guys subscribe to the channel show some love there but apparently there's gonna be a sushi pokemon and it's gonna be a dragon type which is honestly pretty sweet if you ask me i think that i think that's, that's kind of cool i'm excited to see what that turns into you know what else is exciting Team Shiny, we've got some amazing merch over at TeamShiny.com and you can check it out by simply heading to the link in the description below and swag out your merch with some amazing Team Shiny designs. We've got the starters, we've got all your favorite Shinies and much, much more and you can use code SUMMER to get 15% off your purchase right now if you pick up three t-shirts or more. So stock up your closet, celebrate the summer with some sick Team Shiny merch. The Riddler then goes on to tweet about whole order fries. I don't know what's going on here. Then goes on to say with a Ben Affleck leak, who remembers the Affleck leak for Sword and Shield where they re revealed so many things. Says, don't worry, it's not Yokai Watch. There's no hamburger Pokemon, but then talks about French fries. I don't know what's going on here. I'm not even gonna pretend like I have a clue because I genuinely don't. I don't even know what this has anything to do with so don't don't I, I don't know what to tell you I don't know what he's talking about but maybe we'll get some more information over the coming days 
Amy at Japan also reporting on the fact that the hidden ability for the starter Pokemon is not new hidden abilities. And if we think back to kind of the hidden abilities we got from the, the Gala region, we had Sniper on Inteleon, which wasn't new. We had Grassy Surge on Rillaboom, also not new, but you know, obviously the first time outside of the top of Bulu that got it. And then you had Libero, which is new, but it wasn't, right? Like it's basically the same thing as Greninja's hidden ability protein. So having the starters not get hidden abilities, I don't know. We did already have uh, some information from the Riddler months ago, uh, talking about the fact that Fuecoco's hidden ability is related to um, potentially him eating or dancing was the speculation. A lot of people are thinking it might be thick fat or gluttony, uh, maybe unnerved related to berries because it was he, he kind of teased an image of Fuecoco in front of the berry or whatever. So some people are thinking maybe it had to do with him dancing. I don't see him getting dancer, but we'll have to wait and see because we know that there's like a performance aspect to kind of some of these different, uh, you know, these different Pokemon. So we'll have to wait and see what the starters look like. Not having new hidden abilities for the starters isn't a big deal. There's some really good abilities out there, right? I mean, when you think of things like adaptability, you think of like the proteins of the world, you think of, uh, there's so many good ones. Uh, Magic Guard's another good one, depending on the Pokemon. Um, huge Power is always a really good one, right? I mean, it, it, not having a new ability, I don't think is that big of a deal. Apparently, we've got some information from Kaka talking about who I believe is Penny here, saying, is an evolution her ace Pokemon? And Kaka responds with a smiley face. And then the uh, the person says, does she have any new Pokemon or is it just all evolutions? And they go on to say no new Pokemon. So I don't know, Penny obviously with her Eevee backpack, probably gonna have an Eevee evolution. What is it gonna be? As of right now, everything is pointing at the fact that we don't get a new evolution. So just keep that in mind. Keep your thoughts and, and feelings tempered. At this point, there is no reason to believe there's gonna be a new evolution. But man, oh man, do they like to tease it in front of our face. That's for sure. Another thing worth mentioning here is that there's a thought that there's a couple pseudo legendaries getting future paradox forms and past forms. And uh, Amy at Japan tweeted Tyranitar future form. And it seems as though Kaka responded and quote tweeted with an exclamation point, which some people are taking as could be a sign that Tyranitar does indeed get a future form, but we don't really have full confirmation on that. So just don't get too excited there. The last thing I want to mention and talk about is the potential for DLC for this game. Now, I know we're a long ways away from the game even coming out and then of course DLC coming after that, but I do think it's interesting to talk about. Uh, some people have kind of put together this little map here showing the new region Paldia and how it could very easily connect to the Kalos region up to the north uh, east of it. And then from there, right to the Gala region. So there's a lot of opportunities for these maps to kind of connect just based on the terrain and kind of way that things are situated in Europe in the first place. So a lot of people are speculating there's going to be DLC for this game. Uh, it's actually been talked about from the Riddler and the leakers that there are going to be DLCs for this game. So we'll have to wait and see. Would they give us a DLC where we actually travel to Kalos or something like that? I don't know. Seems weird because again, we just had the Generation 4 remakes. Would they kind of give us almost a testament or kind of a, a shout to Gen uh, 6 this early? Could they solve some of the, the answer, the questions that were there with, you know, things like we never got Volcanion. They, they never really did anything with kind of the Badlands. Um, there's a lot of interesting pieces to, to Kalos that I think could be explored a little bit further. So I'd be curious to see what ends up happening with that. But let me know your thoughts on that in the comments section below. These maps do line up pretty nicely. And on the map of Paldia, they do have clouds in the top right corner of the map. So that's a nice place to connect to Kalos, I would say. So that's everything, catching you guys up today on the news, leaks, rumors, and much, much more. Both the Riddler and Kaka have returned after saying they were gone. Big surprise there. Hit that like button down below if you guys enjoyed, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And of course, feel free to check out Team Shiny at TeamShiny.com. Pick up some sweet merch today. TeamShiny.com, use code SUMMER to get 15% off. The summer's almost over, so do it now before it's too late. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.